Coming up on Look Today. Well, the Druthers Rocks the UPH concert was a huge success for the Universal Preservation Hall in Saratoga, as well as the community. I've got details. And we've got some updates on the Code Blue Shelter in Saratoga. More on that coming up. And SUNY Adirondack discusses the possibility of arming its security officers with guns. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Chad Rabinovitz. He's a producing artistic director for the Adirondack Theater Festival. He's here to talk about Glens Falls' upcoming International Film Festival. I also sit down with Andrea Jacobs. She's here to talk about the 8th Annual Super Bands. That's a fundraiser that benefits Autism Alliance organizations. And that's happening, by the way, on October 22nd. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Druthers Rocks the UPH concert event took place this past Saturday. Now, the event is sponsored by Druthers Brewery as part of a capital campaign to raise money to renovate the Universal Preservation Hall. Now, the event featured food and drinks from Druthers, as well as four local bands. Well, we caught up with Chuck Vasconian about the success of the event. It was great. The every band was fantastic. We had a wonderful time. There was about 300 people paid. Uh, we netted close to uh, $10,000 for the support of the, uh, the renovation budget for the Universal Preservation Hall. Absolutely fantastic. Now, because of the eclectic mix of the musical acts, the event brought people of all ages together. And we spoke to Chuck about what this means for the community. Uh, having diversity of, of talent, young talent, and, and also local talent, local and regional talent, uh, is one thing, giving them a place to play, giving uh, younger people a place to be able to see that kind of, uh, kind of entertainment and see uh, things that, they, that are happening right in their backyard. You know, we talk about the, the music scene in Saratoga and people sort of like, yeah, it's a lot of cover bands and things like that. No, it's not. It's a lot of original music. There's a lot of stuff going on. You know, everybody I've talked to that's involved with Universal Preservation Hall is very passionate about this renovation project. In other news, we got an update on the Code Blue Shelter site in Saratoga. Now, after the site committee met some opposition from businesses on Henry Street, the shelter has reverted back to the Salvation Army building on Woodlawn Avenue, at least for this winter. When the shelter moved to the Soul Saving Station on Henry Street, many business owners and residents raised their concern that the public was not addressed beforehand. Others spoke out that the new location is too close to the Children's Museum. Well, we spoke to Dr. Selma Niemer about the move back to the Salvation Army building. Again, they're already serving a breakfast for the population every morning. They've got some good infrastructure in place already you know, with the understanding that everyone is working really hard together to get a long-term building. You know, it's, a, it's an important topic and it uh, raises concerns for people for sure. Uh, we're going to keep you updated on this as we gather more details. And we're also going to speak to other officials involved in the situation and the decision-making process. Switching from news to weather. Today brought cooler temperatures in the low 60s. How about 34 degrees this morning? Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, due to the recent tragedies regarding shootings at school campuses around the country, SUNY Adirondack is discussing preventive measures. Now, officials are discussing whether to arm their security officers with guns. Now, if this were to happen, the officers would have to complete a minimum of 400 hours of training. Now, so you know, there have been approximately 126 cases of school shootings in the last six years alone all around the country. Well, we're going to have more on this discussion when we gather more details. Up next, I sit with Chad Rabinovitz. He's the producing artistic director for the Adirondack Theater Festival. He's here 
to talk about Glens Falls' upcoming International Film Festival. Plus, I also sit down with Andrea Jacobs. She's here to talk about the 8th Annual Superbands fundraiser that will go to benefit the Autism Alliance organization. That's happening, by the way, on Saturday, October 22nd. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I've got some uh, lookouts for tonight. First, I ho hope you all had a great holiday weekend and a safe weekend. Uh, also, I want just a comment about the UPH, the Druthers concert event at Universal Preservation Hall. I made a quick note after the story when reporting it earlier in the news that everybody at uh, UPH is very passionate about that project. And just to see them have that much success uh, really means something to them and to the community. Uh, also, I want to make you aware of a couple of programs that are coming up, special editions of Beyond the Headlines. Uh, Mike Lenz is going to be interviewing Dan Steck and Robin Birkenhagen. They're uh, candidates for the 114th Assembly District. He's going to be doing that the very next day. I'm going to be interviewing uh, candidates for the 45th Senate District, and that's Betty Little and Steve Ruzbaki. Uh, both of these programs I think you will find to be very informative and handled in the way that we like to handle it. Not conflict, not gotcha journalism, but a real forum, a real discussion about the issues and what the candidates bring to the party, so to speak. Uh, also, the, uh, we have an interview coming up with Kerry Werner. Uh, we've got a lot going on. We're even talking about covering a congressional debate. So stay tuned for all of this stuff. It's the kind of programming that we really like to do. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's a Queensbury Town board meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone. Whoa! <laughs>